Mitch Keller, the ace of the Pittsburgh Pirates, has signed a five-year, $77 million contract this offseason and pitched terrific yesterday. Joins us right now in Hosto. Mitch, great to see you, man. Congrats on looking great yesterday. And tell us first and foremost about the deal. What led you to making the decision to sign with Pittsburgh for the future? Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Um, yeah, just the, the outlook of the organization, man. Um, just the future that we've had. And, I mean, it's the only organization I've ever been a part of, so... Um, yeah, just really looking forward to it and I'm um, excited for it and looking forward to this season and in the next year, five years, especially. So um, I think we have a lot of good talent and a lot of good things to look forward to. Mitch, you know, Mitch, I, I was, Mitch, I wanted to ask you about your relationship with uh, with your manager, Derek Shelton, and and uh, and, and just how that influenced uh, um, and uh, grew over the last couple of years, because I know you, you, you obviously you struggled a little bit early on, but then obviously you made some adjustments. And, you know, just how they stuck with you and, and, and how much uh, confidence they had in you. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, Shelty took the job in uh, 2020. Uh, obviously a rough, <laughs> rough time to take it during that COVID season. But um, he stuck with me um, and Oscar, our pitching coach. Just, you know, I had a rough 2021 season. I mean, pretty rough, actually. And then uh, the start of 22 was more of the same and just kind of up and down and um, those two guys, especially Shelty, stuck with me um, the whole way and um, really uh, stuck with me and built confidence in me and, you know, kept believing in me, which, you know, springboarded me into having success that I have now. I love this video we're seeing right now. He gave you what kind of bottle of wine he gave you there to let you know with the opening day start? Yeah, some champagne. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. pretty awesome, man. That's great to see. You mentioned the fact you had that adversity. What do you think was the key to overcoming it? Um, you know, just having a great support system, honestly. Like, you know, as anyone that's played the game knows, it's going to happen. Uh, it's going to go through some rough patches. And it was really the first time I'd ever not done been successful in baseball. Um, coming up through the minor leagues was pretty successful. Um, you know, to have a bad start here and there, but never a bad whole season or a bad uh, half of the season. So um, just really having them stick with me and then all of the teammates that have supported me along the way and, you know, anyone that's reached out and, you know, gave their input on how to get through it. And, um, yeah, they just all made a huge impact on me and uh, really just sticking with it and staying working hard and keeping the work ethic up and, and knowing within myself that, you know, I had it in me. You know, you, you guys are looking pretty good this year. Obviously, the, now, too, you also get uh, O'Neill Cruz back. Uh, just talk about, like, you know, what, what's it like uh, having him back uh, uh, into that lineup? And he turned a nice double play for you yesterday. So, um, you know, he, he's absolutely a stud. And him, putting him in that back in that lineup uh, should be uh, exciting for you guys. Yeah, uh, he's, a, he's a game changer, whether it's in the, in the field or um, at the dish. I mean, he's just a intimidating presence at the plate um heard a nice double play here yesterday he looks smooth on his feet too i mean <laughs> uh he's he's a freak athlete and i think any sport that he played would be he'd be amazing at it but uh just to have him back there and keep ryan obviously at third and uh it's the left side of our infield is unbelievable um so anytime the ball sit over there i pretty much know it's going to be an out so that's a good feeling to have. Yeah, notable offseason additions for you guys overall, Mitch. You recently injured McCutcheon. You bring in Rowdy Telez, Martin Perez, Aroldis Chapman, and also Ismani Grundell. What's that relationship been like so far? Obviously, a pitcher-catcher, a very unique relationship. Yeah, um, he's been awesome already the first three weeks of camp here. Um, we've gotten to know each other a little bit. And um, just the he knows how I like to throw and um, just learning from him, too. He's obviously caught a lot of games and been in the big leagues for a long time. And um, just learning some ins and outs on, you know, with my stuff that I throw, um, how he likes to call the game. And um, I think it's going to be a really exciting time. Um, it's going to be a fresh, fresh catcher back there that I've never thrown to. So some different ideas that we'll get to explore throughout the spring and hopefully use during the season. Uh, overall, I mean, like you said, there's optimism right now. Give us a scouting report on Paul Skeens, by the way. He's going to be fun to watch. You two guys together is going to be electric. Yeah, man, watching him uh, do his thing in, in bullpens and his live BPs have been uh, really impressive, honestly, for a first-year first guy, even in pro ball, let alone his first uh, big league camp. is um, he's, he's impressive all around, so I'm really excited. I think he's thrown in a game here coming up, though. So. 
Um, I'm really excited to watch that and just see how he attacks his own and uh, gets after it. He's a he's an ultimate competitor, someone you want to have on your team and have on your side. So I couldn't be more excited for it. Yeah, a fastball at top shot at 102. That's gonna be fun to see as well. <laughs> yeah, it's it's impressive. <laughs> it's it's a heavy fastball too. I don't think anyone likes playing catch with him. <laughs> no, I can imagine. And last one for you, Mitch, Henry Davis, who I think there was some talk about whether or not he's gonna be a catcher or not. But bottom line is this kid can hit. 62 games as a rookie, he showed some pop. What can you tell us about Henry, at least behind the plate, if indeed you're gonna be pitching him a little bit? Yeah, uh, he worked his ass off this offseason uh, behind the plate, um, making sure he's ready to rock, and he looks really good back there. Um, obviously, we know he can hit, and I faced him here already in live BPs, and he's already got a couple hits off me, and he's got a couple hits already to start the spring in the first game, so I think he's ready to rock, and we're super excited about that, too. Well, Mitch Keller, obviously, man, congratulations to sign that deal. There's no better place, by the way. To, is there any better place to pitch than PNC Park with that backdrop and a beautiful June day? It's gorgeous, right? Oh, man. Yeah, especially, yeah. When that sunset's coming off the building, it's uh, off the buildings back there. It's something special. I mean, you can't beat it, uh, especially just sitting in our dugout. I mean, you just get to see it the whole time. <laughs> Now, now so, all the guys, uh, too, the, the team dinners are going to be looking at him to pick up that check. So. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know. I've gotten that comment a few times already. <laughs> Good deal. Yeah, that's the I'll last question. To, that's what I was going to say. You, you must have bought something, Mitch. I mean, I know you're maybe not a big spender, but just to celebrate a house, a car, something, what'd you get? No, I haven't uh, haven't got anything yet, but um, definitely looking for a new car here pretty soon. So. <laughs> he just signed the deal. A new house just like that? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Call the mortgage guy. Let me get a new house here. Ready to rock. Get a Porsche. Get it done. Uh, Mitch, great stuff, man. Congrats on the deal. And uh, honestly, have an awesome season here with the Pirates. We're big fans. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it.